everybody. Today is 5-18-2022, May 18th, 2022. Um, yeah, yesterday was a little rough day. Today wasn't much better, but it was better. So, let's keep that on the upside. Um, uh, work actually wasn't too bad today. I was, you know, got to listen to a few podcasts and work you know I don't know what they got going on with our AC there but whenever it's hot as hell out the AC like barely works and then whenever it's cold or you know not so when you don't need AC it's blasting I mean blasting and I sit right under a vent so it's like it blows on my neck the whole time I'm freezing in there I am freezing in there I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm sure there's some. They've tried to fix it like 800 times. and They put a new uh, digital uh, monitor on it too. And nothing's changed. So who knows. It's some kind of trigger that's probably being our sensor being set off. That tells it to kick on and it shouldn't be. But I don't know. I'm freaking freezing. It's bad when I got to wear a coat or a hoodie or something in the middle of summer to work. Yeah. All right. But um, after work, like I said, didn't do much. Just did my work and listened to podcasts today, which I'll talk about the podcast I listened to. But uh, the WAD today. So going to the gym. Got there a little early so I could warm up. My front squats since they were in the workout but just to see how my knee would take it my knee still still tender still sore uh, the good thing it wasn't like a ton of weight so that's a good part but the wad was five rounds and each round was three minutes and what you did is it was 35 calorie row which ate up about a minute and a half, anywhere anywhere between a minute and a half to two minutes, depending on how fast you rode and um, <clears throat> how consistent you could stay on the rower. So my first one, you know, I got done in a minute and a half, no problem. With that remaining time, he wanted us to do max front squats. But the way it was set up, in round one, you did 185 pounds. This was all advanced. I did advanced today, the highest level you could do today. Just because 185 is not a lot of weight for front squats for me. Or so I thought. <laughs> and then the next round, it was 155 pounds. The third round, it was 135 pounds. The fourth was 115, and the last one was 95. And, you know, you're fresh that first round, so let's do the heaviest weight first. That's how you had it set up. So, those being the five rounds, um, there was no real set goal. It was just how many can you get. So, the, the stimulus was just keep the row under two minutes and try to have at least a minute plus to uh, work on your front squats. I ended up getting 60 total. So that's over, that's what, 12 a round is what it averaged to. Uh, I had a couple 15 rounds, I had a 12 round, I had an 11 round, and I had a 7 round. The 7 round was the heaviest weight, 185. I just, my legs just were, felt weird right after that first row. I think I went a little too hard. And then my my after that, my worst one was actually the fourth round. I just fell apart on the row. Like I literally had like 40 seconds to do it and I was just so gassed. Um, yeah, so I did not pace myself very well on the fourth round. And then the third and the, fi and the final round is when I got 15, as I should have on the final round. I was trying to shoot for 20 on that final round and I just ran out of time. But hey, it is what it is. It was a great workout, sweated my ass off. And then uh, after that, just came home. I started watching, uh, oh, what was it? It was a documentary on Netflix. It's a 
maybe an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half. But it was about the rise and fall of Abercrombie and Fitch. Uh, I forget the actual name of it, but man, that guy that ran Abercrombie and Fitch, um, the CEO, uh, they said his name a thousand times now, I'm blanking on his name. But either way, what a douche. That dude is a douchebag. Basically, they were told, the, the store managers were told, only hire attractive people, but if they had non-attractive people, they could only work in the back. How fucked up is that? That you are getting hired on your looks alone. And basically, they wanted this all-American, preppy, um, good-looking you know, model. That's what they wanted. Uh, to be greeting and helping customers. And basically, he was, even though, even though he didn't tell them to do this, but insinuated that he basically only wanted, like, handsome white men and hands, and pretty white girls. And it, so, you know, there's a whole lawsuit about being people being discriminated against because of their you know, ethnicity, I'm sorry, I said that, ethnic, yeah, I can never say it right, Ugh. but because, you know, if they're black or Indian or Asian, um, a lot of hate, they, or they felt like they were being discriminated against, and they were, they absolutely were, and it's fucking sick, but how they spun it in court was, they, they, that's when the they came out with though it wasn't because you're black, Asian, Indian, uh, Filipino. It was because you weren't pretty or hot. That's that's why they fired them and let them go. I was like, either way, it's a <laughs> it's fucked up. It is fucked up. And finally, they got that CEO out of there. He resigned because you know numbers kept dropping people started protesting wouldn't shop at the store anymore and rightfully so rightfully so and then finally they got a new ceo and she she has brought the company back i mean she celebrates diversity she celebrates you know everybody you know she wants everybody to feel included that was their biggest point is they wanted this to be exclusively you know exclusive you know, they wanted to exclude who they thought was not cool or popular or the American model, basically. And, yeah, so it was just sick. And, you know, the fact that, you know, because there was really no social media and stuff, like, these kids didn't feel like they had an outlet and their voices were never heard until finally a guy started a petition on it and it gained traction. And uh, then finally, you know, a lawyer stepped in and started finding out about all these, you know, college kids and high school kids that were let go because of their looks, you know. So it, it's, a, it's a good documentary. Well, very well done. And, you know, I'm glad pieces of shit like that get outed. And, you know, they just, we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that shit here, you know. If you're gonna, you know, base something on somebody's looks or their color, you know, just get the fuck out. Get out. We don't need you here. <sighs> but other than that, I uh, listened to the Joe Rogan podcast. He had uh, some Cameron guy on there and talking about bow hunting and stuff like that and how, you know, Everything else in the world's going on and stuff, but I don't know. I just found it interesting. It's a good listen. Always like listening to interesting people, and he seems to have a lot of interesting people on there. So, yeah. if you get a chance, check it out. If not, no big deal. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. We didn't have a baseball game. Big Smooth was sick today, so been sick the last couple days so hopefully he gets better 
Uh, found out this weekend my softball's been canceled, so yeah, my day just keeps getting better and better. Oh, now I need to find something to do on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I don't know. All right. I think I'm going to watch a couple more episodes of Entourage tonight and call it a night. Um, Hopefully everybody had a good Wednesday. Hopefully you have a good Thursday tomorrow. Um, Yeah. Let's just end it there. No questions or anything like that. So everybody have a good one. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.